Hello everyone. So it is early in the morning. I'm doing this right before work, but I saw that Antim has released another single and totally forgot this was happening today. Like I know they released the dates of everything and all that, but I totally like I was expecting stuff to be happening in August and not like this early on in July. <laughs> so you know me, I'm an Antin girly, so I wanted to get to this out right away. And we are gonna watch the mu music video for Koegawari. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that, I apologize. I attempted to learn Japanese, but it it's a tough language to learn. <laughs> so also I have a little weird like cough so apologies if i cough i don't know what is going on with that i have traveled again since i last saw you but hopefully it's nothing i'm trying to beat it because i have ats this weekend so just hoping that it's just a weird cough situation and nothing else of it <laughs> so anyways let's just get right into this reaction i am super excited you know and team are they're one of my favorite groups so very much looking forward to this and also I saw the preview or like the teaser came out I don't typically watch music video teasers but I saw that it came out and it looks like it might be heavy storyline again but it looks a bit darker so I'm excited for that I'm excited to hear the sound because the concept photos they're at the ocean so very confused <laughs> And they're sail they're sailors, so yeah, anyways, let's just get right into it and I hope you enjoy. Alright everyone, so and team, here we go, super excited, and let's just let me just check my brightness and we are gonna watch it without subtitles for the first watch and then with subtitles for the second watch. Sorry, my voice keeps going in and out, so I apologize about that. <laughs> if I like pause between me speaking. I don't know what's going on with me, but let's let's just get going. Don't think I can feel any more, feel any more, feel any oh. more. Oh, oh, Yuma, I the sound. What? Um, hold on, Taki. Oh, he's wearing positive energy, and he's like the like. He always calls himself like vitamin C of the group. So I am, I wasn't expecting the sound from the thumbnail. So don't think I can feel any more, feel any more, feel any more. Oh, Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas. This location, oh, Maki and K. <laughs> this location looks like Permission to Dance ish. I don't know, it's giving me Permission to Dance vibes. But this feels like Samidare's older brother, like a little more vibey, a little poppy, more poppy than Samidare was, because Samidare is a little bit more like emotional. But this feels like an older brother. Um, yeah. Okay, Taki, if you don't know, I feel like Taki for me is a bias record. <laughs> I have too many biases in this group, but there's like nine of them, so it's really hard. But Nicholas has worked his way up to a bias from a bias record. And then EJ and Fuma are like, or Yuju and Fuma are my like OG biases. So they will always be biases for me. But then I also love Maki and Taki, so I love all of them, so it's really hard to, like, pick and choose. And, like, obviously I don't like one over the other kind of thing. 
like they're all equally amazing but Taki is just such a little sweetheart he is adorable and his voice sounds so good oh Yuma he's not oh why voice um we have to watch that chorus again also i love we're getting a lot of maki center recently like scar to scar and you went oh harwa so cute also this kind of this setting also reminds me of uh drop kick um oh my gosh why do they always put nicholas in a um sleeveless shirt Oh. oh that was so cute also fuma's arms and i know it's pronounced fuma like f is an h but i always say fuma but this is a pretty shot like the sunset in the background and just where they are i feel like they're kind of just almost like homeless a little bit or like they're just on the run like on the outskirts and they're just like trying to make the most of what they have as wolves <laughs> but yeah I, that's beautiful it's so pretty Nicholas? Yo. Oh, Joe sounded so good there. Oh, I cannot handle Nicholas right now. I need to. I love this chorus, and there's a little bit of a groove to it. Like it's so, and I there's been like writing going on, like in the Yuma. Oh my goodness, where did we start? And it's interesting, like the colors here, like they're very muted, but then and a little grainy, but. Like this, right? Where it said right. Oh my gosh. That might be my thumbnail. Nicholas in the background with his arms. I cannot. But Taki, he's so happy. Love. Oh. I love 
shimmy. Oh, like this little part is so gurry. You hear the beat in the back. Oh, it's EJ. Oh, he's showing a lot of skin. Oh, why? Wait, hold on. The little bridgey bridge with the rapper. See, they're like little drawings, like graffiti almost on them. I need to watch it again. Oh, this sounds so cool. Oh, pretty. Oh, that reminded me of Dropkick. Oh, Yuma. Ooh, it's so... The lighting is so pretty. It's like dusty and like musty, but then they still look really good. It is a little grainy though. I'm like wondering why they... Are they all oh, like this sunset? Like so pretty. I want. Oh, I'm excited for the end crack. Oh, Buma. Buma is really bad right now. <laughs> I mean, he always is, but. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, there's gonna be more. Oh. oh, that was cool. Wait, I wanna see that little bit at end because that was a really cool shot. Um, these two in the front, I cannot. Mom and dad. Oh, this is coming on forever. <laughs> Oh, that was so cool. Oh. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Oh my word. Oh my. All right, I'm gonna get my final thoughts at the end here, but I was really not expecting that, like the music video, I thought it was going to be a lot of like lore from the thumbnail and then there wasn't really a lot of lore and I also wasn't expecting that sound. It's very more pop centric but like there's a bit of a groove to it as well but yeah I'm gonna give my final thoughts at the end, we're gonna watch it again with subtitles. I love this but I love anything Antim puts out so no surprise there and yeah the vocals were really good too but we'll talk about that more in depth at the end okay y'all we're gonna watch this again with subtitles this time let me double check the time because i'm like okay 825 still good um but yeah i'm i'm, I'm loving this and i'm gonna try not to pause as much because i really want to see like the visuals but I was really thrown for a loop there so apologies for the pauses but anyways I have to pause because they all look so good anyways let's let's go don't think I can feel anymore feel anymore feel anymore I thought I should feel it little feeling Oh, the rain stopped. Sorry, I have to pause because I also like looking at the lyrics. But essentially, the first single, Samidare, was like all about spring and like May rain. And now the rain has stopped. So we are in 
summer. So I love that. Um, a slight fever smolders in my chest. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Oh, I love how this chord sounds, but I knew I said I was going to pause, but like also there's so many arms here. <laughs> Um, so I'm like reading the lyrics and it just feels like they're talking about summer and stuff like that, which is, you know, tis the season. Um, but, oh, I was, I lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> um, their concept, I know they're werewolves and everything, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of the outsiders because like they're outsiders and they're kind of just like out in this like countryside if any of you have watched the outsiders like it's one of my favorite movies actually but um two of the main characters pony boy and oh my god why can't i think of his name ralph macchio's character i cannot he's like one of the main characters <laughs> but they go on the run because of uh he kills someone but um they're kind of like in this countryside a little bit and like the visuals of this remind me of the outsiders so it's a it's an old movie it's like from the 80s but it's a wonderful movie there's so many people in it and y'all should watch it if you're an anti fans <laughs> um because i know there's probably like a lot of younger people here but Um, and the chorus is talking about like how they're kind of like growing up now, like they're like not kids and like going back to the outsiders, they kind of have to be like more adult, even though because of like the divide, because basically it's about the outsiders and the socials who are like the rich, rich kids, but they kind of have to be a little bit more adult to like protect themselves. And I feel like you can connect that to the, the lyrics here because like they're growing up they're cha they're changing and like also summer is like a lot about change and like spring is about growth but I feel like summer is kind of like um you want to have fun but you're also growing if that makes any sense at all oh my God. <laughs> The way they're doing their voices is really cool. I can't feel any 
Oh, the camera movement is so cool. Let's, let's go back to that. That was a really cool transition, actually. Um, also, what Nicholas was saying about um, I don't want to lose sight of myself, so I need you by my side. Like, I love that. That's so sweet. K is. Don't think I can't feel any like right here. This transition. Drop it. sound of their little logo also perfect length of a song um three minutes and 34 seconds yes okay so i'm gonna give my thoughts here all right everyone so i i love that song but honestly i love all of anthem's music they are like one of my old groups i think i'll do like a video of like listing all of my favorite groups and like my old groups versus like groups that I like casually listen to I might do that because it's kind of like halfway through the year so I think that will be a fun little video to do since I am a little newer and like I want people to know who my favorite groups are but with that being said I love every single song they come out with and yeah that was really fun it felt very different for them too it felt more like it felt very like more westernized pop I feel like but there's also a little bit of funk a little groove in that chorus and you can even see that like in their chore choreography like they like made it a little bit more groovy in the chorus section so and it is more of an upbeat tone than what Samidare was because Samidare was a little more emotional but I still feel like they are almost like like this is an older brother of Samidare because there's a lot of like similarities a little bit in like visuals and stuff like that but also just like the themes and stuff that they're talking about but yeah it was really pretty there again like wasn't a lot of lore in this like I couldn't really tell like it just seemed like they were kind of on the run like trying to hide from others and just trying to be recluse but be together kind of thing and maybe that is kind of a good follow-up after Sami Dare because they were kind of on the fringe with each other so like now they want to try to like reconnect because they're like growing and they're they're afraid that like if they grow too much apart like that can break the werewolf pack I don't know these are all just theories so like <laughs> take this however you want but yeah I really liked it and it was interesting that they did more of like a westernized pop when N Hypen's like newer release they also had more of a westernized pop sound so the connections there but because they're connected like for people who do not know N Hypen and Antim have very connecting storylines vampires werewolves Anyways, yeah, the video itself was really pretty. I love the like tones they were playing with and colors, like very muted, very like old school a little bit. Like whenever you have that like muted tone down, but there's like a slight bright, like when they're in the grocery store, it almost reminds me of like an 80s vibe-ish, like in film style. It was really pretty. And then, yeah, I really their vocals they always stand out vocally and I will say I was missing a lot of Fuma like he only really had one major verse and or one line and then he kind of was in the chorus like at the end for a little bit 
but his voice sounded really good in the verse that he did so like I really wish we got more of him I feel like we do not get a lot of Puma and like I've said this before I think but when watching Ant Audition like he really stood out to me vocally and like he's an incredible like dancer as well but I just I wish we got more of him and yeah, we got a lot of talkie in this, which is really great. And yeah, I just, I want it to be a little bit more even with Fuma. Anyways, but yeah, that was really good. I loved it. And yeah, I'm wondering if the next song that will come out, which is, I'm assuming titled Ariashi. I took a photo of the track list. I have no idea if I'm saying these names right. Yeah, Ariashi, which is like, I looked it up and it means like something about the wind so that you know there's a reason why they were at the beach <laughs> for these concept photos but they also have a song called imprinted just saw that did not know about that but i love the concept that they're doing with it like they're creating like these like maps almost in these visuals and they're really really pretty I try to like put it here um so you guys can see but yeah nonetheless love and team loved this song and glad that we got a song early <laughs> like i i totally like forgot this was happening now and then there's still like other comebacks happening this weekend so well literally happening tonight because <laughs> i just saw to other people that I follow. Jimin is coming out with a song and then also Stray Kids. So like, I've got a lot to watch this weekend, but also I'm seeing ATs twice this weekend. So like, I <laughs> do not have the time for this. <laughs> At any rate, let me know what you thought of this music video and the song and down below in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching.